This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Let's get it. People can't see us. All right, Gene. I was going to say, people can't see my sweatpants, hopefully. Are you wearing pants today? I'm wearing pants. Yeah. Very excited to be wearing pants. What, what's your dates, Gene? Well, uh, uh, November 24th, Man Diego at the House of Blues. Tickets are moving very quickly. I'm almost completely sold out, so get them now. That's Thanksgiving weekend, you know? And that's Saturday. That's when you're over your family and you're over it all. And, or maybe you want to take your folks out to come see your favorite pair of jeans. Do that. You know I, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about December 7th, fill her up, Delphia. And then December 8th, Judor Titty is I've added a second show at the Gramercy Theater, 1030. So get those tickets. Everything's almost gone, guys. Yeah. It's exciting. It's a maze. And then 2019, I'll be announcing hopefully soon. Um, Gene? Gene, I can tell you this. Um, I'm going to Blue Jeans, Oregon. There's <laughs> 20 tickets left for oh the my. early show. OMG. And about 60 to the late show. That's it. Uh, Boys Seed is all sold out. Ball Sacramento has tickets for the late show on October 6th. Where? Ball Sacramento. <laughs> oh, Ball Sac. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fartno, also known as Fresno, California. Yeah. That's October 26th. There are tickets available to that show and the next day in Bakersfield. What's Bakersfield? I don't know. Haters. I don't know. Is that fall the haters field? Hey, I like it. <laughs> Then I go to the dirty, dirty South Florida. I go to Fort Fart Myers, <laughs> Jack Me Off Phil, and Orlando, <laughs> and Augusta uh, Come On You, Georgia. Hey. Those are all in November. Uh, very few tickets remaining um, in Orlando, Jack Me Off Phil, and uh, Augusta. Uh, Fart Myers still has tickets. The third show in Fill Her Up Delphia is wow. moving along nicely. I uh, got all those tickets at TomSegura.com slash tour. A lot of people hit me up about Pachanga because it sold out very fast. They're giving us a second date. Um, it, it's not going to be the same night, but that second date will be sometime in 2019, and I'll have that for you soon, along with some big announcements. Go to TomSegura.com, click on the tour page, and sign up for that mailing list so you can get the news before anybody else. You know what's neat about pachanga is that it already sounds like a dirty word, doesn't it? It does sound like Like, put it in my pachanga. Whoa. Right? Like your panocha. Yeah, yeah, that's why it sounds like panocha. Yeah. That's the problem. Hmm. You know what it is. Or maybe it's not a problem. Maybe it's... (laughs) (laughs) Maybe that's why everyone likes it there. Okay. Okay? All right. So much to go over today. Jeans. Jeans. How tight are your jeans? Mine are very tight. Of course. Super tight got post-pregnancy jeans and they're always tight right now <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> till i can lose a few lbs couldn't be tighter no uh all right let's get into it you ready yeah i'm ready let's do it let's do it god damn what the fuck <laughs> did you shit in your fucking <laughs> pants yeah god damn yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. I'm looking forward to these days being a dad and um having the kids fart in the car and Oh yeah. You know. Torturing mom. Yeah. I know why you picked this clip. Why? Because this mirrors our real life yesterday on the <laughs> yeah, way home from our was. dinner. It was pretty bad. Walk me through 
what happened. This is a liquid ass prank, by the way. You know, it's that spray. Oh yeah, we've yeah. Ha- we've people have sent us that one. Yes. It's not nearly as volatile as what you've got in your real ass. Well, yesterday was an interesting day <laughs> because it was a travel day. I'll always a recipe. Cross country travel day. Oh, Just geez. bad things happen. Sure. I mean, I'm at the hotel early, yeah. eating some breakfast, having coffee. What did you have for breakfast? I had a momlet. Okay, with veggies? Uh, yeah, there was yeah. spinach, yeah. onions, mushrooms. And you don't eat those very often, That's so not very true. volatile for you. That's not true. I ate that. I uh, had some bacon. Yeah, greasy. Coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were yeah. up early. Early, too. Early just does something to your guts. Yeah, I don't I know. know what it is. I know. And then I shit at the hotel. Then okay. I drive more than an hour, mm-hmm. get to the airport, have another like half coffee. Another coffee. No, I just started. Brazen. No, I just started. Honestly, I I, ga- I got on the plane with it. I gave it to the flight attendant. Right? I, can you just throw? Some yeah, away? I was gonna say because usually once I drink my morning coffee and then I shit, I don't really want yeah, I coffee right it, away. I, I I was like I don't really enjoy this, and yeah. then I slept for a few hours. I don't know, but your whole your whole digestive tract is messed up that day. Yeah. It really is. It is then, just waking up super early. It, it would mess my stomach up too. It would yeah. hurt. My stomach would just hurt. And then I got back here, ate something here. I don't know. Then we went out. What did we have for dinner? I don't I don't oh, know. yeah. It's a blur. I had that um, salmon. Oh, sal- salmon. Salmon with the hard L. I had the salmon. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, on the way out of there, just. <laughs> you know what's fun is because we say salmon as a joke. Yeah. And that when we're out in public, yeah. so many people say salmon yeah. with a hard L. And that it's not <laughs> right. Know. Including the server. It's, it's incorrect. Yeah, ours <laughs> that did. server, he's like, do you want the salmon? And I go, I do. And I go, can you make yeah. it medium rare? He's like, they don't make take temperature changes for the salmon here. I was like, salmon. Yeah. That and I hear library a lot, Yeah, too. Uh, there's a lot. There's Sometimes a lot. I get tweeted <clears throat> corrections. Uh, for things we said, like, like people will be like, did Christina wrong. really say specifically? <laughs> like, I know, instead stupid. of specifically, yeah. Guys, it's jokes. So, so wait a minute. So we, I, I remember this. We had, so we had our salmon. I had some seafoods too, and then on the drive home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I farted. Well, and, it's not just a fart. It was like an atomic. Yeah, nuclear... no, that's what I'm saying though. But it was real, and you had your head out the window. You're like, my wait, husband farted. Right. Yeah. <laughs> First of all. Here's the shit thing you do is you don't give me any heads up. There's no warning. And then you don't cross ventilate, which everybody knows if you're going to fart in a car, all the windows have to be down. Passenger and driver, you got to cross ventilate that fucking thing. It was hot. It was hot. It was hot. And it smelled like a dirty diaper. Like it It smells like our newborn's farts. I got to give it to me. It was nasty. (laughs) Give it up to me. It was real nasty. What did it feel like coming out? Was it hot? Yeah. Yeah. No, I knew it was, I mean, as it came out, I was like, this. I told you, I go, this is going to be bad. Yeah. Oh, I know. And I I was saying that before I smelled it too. I just knew by the feeling. I was like, (laughs) oof. Weren't you telling me, did you tell us on the show, (laughs) some guy you you saw dancing with headphones on and then he farted? Did you say this on the show? Yeah, I said it. Yeah. How so funny. I'll never forget that. That was in D.C. Yeah. I was on a lunch break. (laughs) I was working with another guy named Tom. And he was really into music. We went to a record store. And it was back when the record stores, they had the listening stations. Sure. Like so Sam guy, Goody. Yeah. yeah. And the guy was like, and don't you know? <laughs> and he just ripped a huge <laughs> fart. And we fell out loud. Uh, he turned and was like, yeah. he, I think he really thought we were laughing at his voice. Yeah. Well, he didn't. Because when you have headphones on, you don't think people can hear what you're what you're doing. Yeah. And he was a big guy. Yeah, and I think that that fart escaped without him even. So knowing. wait a minute, Tom. This is a bit uh, uh, sizest of you. Are you saying that fat people have girthier, meatier, smellier farts? Because I don't know weight? about meaty or smellier, but maybe girthier and meatier. Maybe you think the fatness is directly proportionate? Maybe has a it's a factor. Maybe <laughs> maybe they're eating more garbage. <laughs> but your mom's got monstrous farts. That's and a good she point. She weighs like eighty pounds. Great counterpoint. Yeah. The fartiest <laughs> farts I've ever heard. Right, and smelly. Very smelly. Ah, this and is a very question loud. for science. We have to ask a doctor. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's Dr. always. Drew. Well, here, like, let's uh, let's examine this dad's reaction a little more to this uh, uh, smell in his car. Sure. <laughs> God damn! Did you shit? <laughs> He's so upset. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> is that a fart? <laughs> what is that? It smells just like fucking dog shit. <laughs> God damn. Did they record us yesterday? Okay. 
And it's still in here. Yeah. That can't be a fart. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the, these words come out of my mouth every week of my life with you. <laughs> that can't be Since a Since 2005. I've said this exact thing over and over. <laughs> Since we've been together. It's a steel thing. Are you it's still steel doing thing. it? God damn. It's God damn. <laughs> you just sprayed my stomach. <laughs> fuck, I can't help it. <laughs> and then he eats his ramen or whatever. The fuck. I think it's ice cream, oh, babe. spray in there. <laughs> Oh, is there ice cream in I there? Think so. He's not eating top ramen. I don't think that's ramen. <laughs> I don't smell anymore. Well, God do. Uh, I love this guy. Well, God do. This guy's great. I don't smell anything. I can't believe that came out of you. I know. That's, I've never smelled somebody smell like that. That's something wrong with that. <laughs> that's like every married couple's discussion. That's not. I mean, that is. That's ultimate dad too. That's a real dad, you know. But that farts. guy's dad is fart. Well, the dad should fart. Well, yeah, but I mean that's a dad reaction. I remember yeah. as a kid we would take these road trips, especially my uncle Dave. He'd be like, "Oh, he's like <laughs> Jesus Christ, one of you piss pots just fart." Like <laughs> you'd call us piss pots and ding dongs. So Jesus, funny. go to the bathroom. <laughs> Christ, stinks. You guys stink. Do you rip a fart? He always said that. <laughs> or cut a yeah. fart. Yeah. Cut a cut, fart. Yeah, do you cut a and fart? Rip a fart are my favorites. Yeah. Cutting a fart. That's such a foreigner thing. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, here's another dad here. I'm gonna take it to the West Coast. Hello, son. Hello, bud. You better fuck up. You stink, you dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You've cheated on you. <laughs> Yeah, have not you? You big, smelly, fucking, dirty, stinking, ginger-headed bastard. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to our children, just so you know. That this is exactly how fucking I'm fantastic. talking to our kids. That's sick, that, Andrew. I'm not getting in there now. Open that door. <laughs> well, that's all right. No, Andrew, please, open the door. Oh, man. No, I'm a fuck. No, I'm not getting in there, you big, dirty cunt. Yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> Has he <it> fuck gone? <laughs> it hasn't. See, first of all, dirty cunt. This is way better way to communicate with someone. Yeah, or your children, definitely. Yeah, the way that he calls his kid a dirty, rotten, yeah. ginger-headed cunt. Yes. I mean, I just love that so much. More. I do too. I, you rarely find American parents like that. No, I know this is a foreigner thing. My yeah. parents used to curse at me all the time. I love it all the time. I I immediately smile when I see somebody yeah. talk to their kid like that. This is more normal to me than you know. Oh, sweet. I actually feel like that means you. Like your kid even more. Yeah, that you I can agree. Talk to him like that. I agree. You don't think of them as an experiment that you're raising. No, like if I would fart, my dad would be like, "Oh, a rod kurva ishtem basamag," like you rotten whore mother cunt. <laughs> fuck. And you're like, yeah, like, that was normal. <laughs> my dad never got mad. You know, my dad, he was always like, he's just, he's like, jeez, wow. <laughs> it's like you do that, that really stinks. <laughs> he goes, you probably need to take a shit, buddy. Because <laughs> your dad doesn't like lay blame. He's so sweet. He lo he he loves like, the fart game. And yeah. He loves shits. He does. So as soon as you are like you rip one, he's just like, wow, that's really something. Now you saw he him. Never gets mad. You saw him in breast uh, breast balls beach. You saw him. Right? I saw Top Dog and Charo. And any updates? Um, no. I mean, it's pretty much same shit, different toilet. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Did he tell you any poop stories or anything? No, not really. Okay, so yeah. it's consistent. We're good. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I have a hemorrhoids update. Oh, we're not done with this, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. All right. Oh, that dog, then. I'll save it. <laughs> oh, come on, man. There's no throwing up. Come on, There's man. There's no throwing up. God. It sounded like it was gonna... No, he's just grossed out by his son's fart. God. You dirty bastard. <laughs> That's uh... fucking rotten, not... You can chill that cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy so much. That's mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, sorry, you have uh, a hemorrhoid up there. I didn't mean to take that. Away. Oh, it's a little late on this cue, isn't it? We've been talking about shit for the first <laughs> 10 minutes of the show. Well, I just want to say, I mean. You've been warned. Okay, well, better late than never. That's huh? right. So anyways, I, first of all, thank you for the outpouring of emails and concern about my hemorrhoids. I really appreciate all the thoughtful advice. That I is got. really nice, guys. Yeah. So uh, many of you recommended uh, Tux medicated pads. Mm -hmm. um, I got a recommendation for this Chinese cream you can buy on Amazon. So that's coming. 
and high fiber, things of that nature. But I, which I tell you, I, I already have pretty fibrous, good dumps. Um, and I started using Tux. What I would do is I, <clears throat> like if I knew I was kind of sitting around for a minute, like to breastfeed the kid or something, I'd take a, a Tux pad and kind of fold it like a taco and then just put it up against my hemorrhoids, like just kind of like a, like a pad and have it soak on my hemorrhoid. You know what I mean? Ugh. Like just sitting there. <laughs> good news. It's already worked. I think I'm going to dry heave. There's no more pain. It's The pain is gone, and, and that must be the power of tux, so thank you. Thank oh, you. It's yeah. gone. I mean, it's not the, the bump is still there, but there's no pain, if that makes sense. Is that yeah. how that's supposed to resolve? I guess so. Like, does the bump go away, or it's just... I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not an expert. Yes, you are. In hemorrhoids? No, I'm not. You have them. Don't you I, have them? I, I mean, I've seen blood before but that's, that's pretty not, much it those are internal ones right? yeah but i don't have uh your issue the external ones no ari has the internal ones <sighs> ari's issues are vast yeah and serious i should have asked him i can't believe he's alive <laughs> after seeing w what his asshole looks like it's so horrific everyone's seen his butthole i almost passed out when i saw it the i swear i've never i was like Oh he's so nasty. It's so nasty. He's so nasty. Um, that poor guy. He really has serious anal problems. Real serious anal problems. I did also want to point out, um, I'm doing uh, Conan tonight. Conan. Um, so that'll be up by the time you well, hear fun. or listen to this. Yeah, so uh, I've been there a few times. It's always fun to go back. Bert was there last night. Who? Uh, Bart. And uh, I didn't get to see it, but uh, that was sent uh, just a small clip from his appearance. If you guys want to listen to what he did on the show. Oh, yeah. Move it, niggers. Oh, all right. Well, you know, we each have our own different way of uh, <laughs> performing on the I show. I wonder if Conan brought him out as the world's fattest, most racist comedian working a today. Good way, thing to look up. Yeah. <laughs> That's really caught fire. And I'm pretty happy about that. Well, obviously, I mean, he is. <laughs> yeah. That, that was his opener, right? Opening he sat joke. down, I guess, and he just did that. Yeah. And Conan was like, okay. Yeah, he, Conan's not racist. No. No, neither is Andy. I wonder how they dealt with it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, Interesting. So I think these are the same guys, by the way, that made that... Um, my daddy never made us ashamed of our penises. Oh, Christ. Yeah, yeah that then, was terrible. There's another clip. You want to see it? No. Here it is. No, thanks. I said, that motherfucker, Randy, every time he gets more than six beers in him, he gets pissed off and leaves us. Tell me about it. I'm getting fucking sick of walking home from work every day. I'm going to cut his balls off if I see him. Don't mention balls. My wife's going to bite mine off for not being home on time. What's she making, a big dinner? Nah, it's Friday. She expects me to fuck her all night long. What the hell's wrong with that? Yeah. Nothing. I mean, I can just put a pillow over her face and go to town. It's just... <laughs> Jeez. Just what? Jeez, is that is that what you do? <laughs> Hold on. She likes to start things off by giving me some head. Her teeth always make my dick raw. Oh my Her God. teeth? Oh, bitches can't suck a dick worth a damn. Oh, I get. Wait yeah, a I guess because of my size, she can't open up any wider. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Where's this headed, huh? I don't know. You've never had good head in your whole life. Anyways. I go on hikes like this too all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your you know, hiking footage? I don't think I ever really have. Well, get that fucking cock out of your pants. <laughs> yeah, it cuts wow. off. Cuts off right there, unfortunately. Blue band. What the fuck, man? Well, do you not know what's happening next? No, I don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> <laughs> I just went on a hike this morning. Thought, this is this is eerily reminiscent. Yeah, this like, is all your hikes, by the way. Yeah. You're always like, oh, I'm going hiking. Yeah. I met a lot of nice guys on my hike. Yeah, there are. There's, there's guys just like this with hats like this and... <laughs> With sleeveless vests <laughs> and uh, tight jeans. I love the tight jean for a hike. <laughs> That's, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Their attire. And they're wearing like, what, boots? Yeah. All well, right. this is the uniform of straight, heterosexual, hiking guys. Yeah. Oh, Just... bitches can't suck a dick worth a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of straight guys hiking in yeah. our cowboy boots. And Nothing our... worse than a bitch that can't suck a dick <laughs> worth a damn. You know? And I gotta fuck my wife all Friday night long. I know. I put a pillow over her head and I go to town. God, I sure hope our delivery is better well, for get our, that fucking cock out of your pants. Our pilot, if it gets picked up. Oh, yeah, then this that? This acting's terrible. That's pretty terrible. That's what makes it great. And they just stand there like... Nah, 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 nah. 
<laughs> Get that cock out of your pants. <laughs> Come on, be honest. If you met some guy on the hiking trail, yeah, and he was like, "Bitches can't suck cock for shit." Mm-hmm. You want to try try me out? Try it out. <laughs> I've taken my ten to twelve Benadryl. Mm-hmm. Piss on me, beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Would I give it a shot? I'm a hot white trash cum dump. What I mean, I'm not. Like? I'm not totally opposed to it. Yeah. I, I just feel like, I mean, you know, I'm hot. I'm on the trail. It's all dirty. Oh, you're and dusty. sweaty. Yeah, it's like also people are gonna walk by. What are we gonna do? They don't care. Gay guys don't care about that. Oh, really? No, they just fuck out in the streets. When I lived in San Diego, I'd I see guys to see this. butt fucking. This is in the Jesus. height of like the '90s, though, when when you know gay guys ruled that place. I don't know if they still do now. It's more yuppies, <laughs> but I'm telling you, one time I saw two guys just butt fucking on the street. I have clubs everywhere, that guys. Is so fucking put, cool. Putting their dicks through holes, and other guys just going to suck them. I mean, they're fucking savages, dude. They're yeah. awesome. They they used to rule it. It was they're, like they're awesome. Well, it was gay mecca. Like if you were a gay guy, you should you should live in San Francisco. You want to? It makes me crazy when gay people write to me and they're like, "I live in fucking uh, Alabama, and they hate they hate me because I'm gay." I'll well, get the fuck out of there. It's not just the gays who are doing the butt stuff. <laughs> Do you want to know something that's really amazing? <laughs> what? A couple in China <laughs> who were desperately trying to conceive learned yeah. that they'd been having sex the wrong way for four years. No kidding. Yes. 26 and 24 years old. Oh my God. They were like, we keep failing to get pregnant. They're having sex <laughs> on a regular basis. During the appointment, the woman admitted that sex was usually painful. <laughs> And uh, they were very young, very healthy. Hilarious. Couldn't conceive. They were having a lot of stress. And uh, the doctor <laughs> discovered that the couple had mistakenly been having anal intercourse rather mm. than vaginal <laughs> to conceive. Asshole. <laughs> Four years of marriage, and neither the husband nor wife knew how to get pregnant. Oh, my goodness. Now, porn's banned in China, right? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. They like, have, you they, can't. The state controls... You know. Yeah, I mean, these people aren't being educated. I, I doubt they teach them about the birds and the bees. Man, that's wild. That is wild. Oh, yeah, it says sex education faces great challenges in China. Jing John, a professor of sociology at Beijing's, I don't know how to say this, Tsinghua. I'm fluent in Chinese. Asshole. University. At Tsinghua, students take sex education. You're not even going to comment on me on my beautiful pronunciation. I just did. Tsinghua. Yeah. Take sex education classes where they learn basic knowledge on any condoms. Or, uh, okay, anyway. Huh. Wow. Mm. Good stuff. <laughs> Butt stuff for, for Butt how stuff. many years? That's terrible. Yeah. But no, that that is, I mean, this has to be a stupid couple. I mean, why would you put it in? A, that's where the chocolate comes out. I know. A succulent Chinese <laughs> meal. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty wild. Oh, is it time? Yeah. Hold on one second. I might have 18 seconds on my timer. Go ahead. Let them know. Ching chong, ching chong. Where's that one? Um, no. You want to fuck with me, man? Okay. Remember that? Yeah, I remember I'm just that. singing what I know. I'm just singing what I know. From this show. Okay. I'm not making fun of Asian people. That's an actual drop. Ching chong. There you go. Ching, ching chong. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. There you go. Ching chong, ching chong. <laughs> so, uh, um, there she is. Yeah, now, I, see I, that I, I dug it up. But that, that's you. the thing I was referencing a song. I know. You know, what? come know. on, guys, let's not. Um, well, yeah. you know, who's, uh, really back in the news heavily uh, <laughs> these last twenty four hours is yeah. uh, one Louis C K. Crazy. Uh, cut down. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking cum. <laughs> <laughs> he um, did two. That was an actual audio recording of. The incidents, right? <laughs> right. He did two appearances this uh, this weekend. Yeah. One at the um, Comedy Cellar, the famed New York City Comedy Club. Yeah. And one, I think, out in Governors in Long Island at the Comedy Club Governors. <laughs> and uh, both were surprise sets. These are both uh, new. These are his first appearances doing stand-up right. since he admitted to... Um, Jerking off in front of people without their consent? Yes. And uh, that was a huge bomb but that dropped. But of women specifically, not yes. people. It's just uh, It was a huge bomb that dropped last November. And everybody, you know, at least in comedy, has been like, ah, oh, will he come back? Will he do stand up again? Just what will happen again? <laughs> and he uh, 
he's doing spots, looks like. You know what's interesting is that... Huge every, backlash, by the way. Right, I don't Huge. think people aren't exactly applauding this re- return. Yeah, most people are not. And it's interesting because we've had conversations with other people in our business, like, mm. what's the timeline here? Right. How long do you think he's going to hold out before he comes back? Sure. And it's been nine months. Yeah. I I have to tell you, like, I didn't hate him before this. I was kind of like, eh, on the scale of shitty things that have happened. He's not a Weinstein. He's not exactly a Cosby. He sucks. That sucks. But it was not on the scale of shit, shit bird. Yeah. Eh, okay. This makes me not like him. Because you're like, motherfucker, if you don't know to stay the fuck away for at least a year. Yeah. You don't got no sense. He has no sense. And talk about... The sense of entitlement, like, dude, you're clueless. Like, if you're coming back this early, mm. that's just my take. Wait, well, at least a year, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny. I didn't really think of the specifics of it because it's not my life. You know, what like, do you mean the specifics of like, like how to come back? Like, in a, I, oh, I, in right, other words, yeah. I didn't like lay out a plan because I'm. <laughs> it's not anything that I deal with. It's not your yeah, your biggest so, concern in life. Yeah, so I, I mean, I was always of the mindset that. I believed that a path to redemption should exist. Right. Not just for him. I mean, just for most people in, in life, like people who do bad things. What about like Cosby though? Well, okay. That was really bad. M- my point was that is that, you know, somebody gets arrested, let's say, goes to jail for any number of terrible things. Right. You could be accused of assault, armed robbery, murder, manslaughter, all these horrible things. Eventually some of those people get released and it's like, you can't just be like, that's it. Like you right. don't get to, well, you're, you're back banished. in society now. Right. You have to figure out ways. So for, for a lot of people, they go, you know, let's say somebody's accused of a horrific, violent thing. They're locked up for 20 some years. They go, well, they did. They paid their debt to society. So they're entitled to whatever now, even though people don't have to hire them. Right. You know, so this is obviously not the same thing, but there is some parallel to, um, there's a bad thing done. You need to pay some type of price. There's, there's penance involved. Yeah. yeah. So the, you can make an argument that, you know, <clears throat> part of the penance is the public shame of it all. Yeah. Part of the penance is losing, you know, your, he had big television deal with FX that went away. Touring business just stopped, obviously. Right, so there's monetary. So there's monetary punishments. Sure. Too. Then you have to go, well, um, if he did, you know, he did admit to doing these things, it's like probably, I mean, this again, this is just an opinion, needs to be some type of interaction with the um, people that you, hmm. or, you know, uh, let them dictate some terms of making it okay. In other words, some woman that he jerked off in front of gets to say, you know, it would be great if uh, yeah. if you were to donate to this organization or, I don't know, I don't have the answer, but I'm saying you need to at least consider probably some of those people's um, feelings in this. Right, well, I think what you're, what you're saying, which is I agree with too, is like the way the law functions, right? Like there's no real due process with what's happening. Like people are being accused and then it's like, you're gone, off with your head, disappear. Whereas there's no like legal system being involved. Yeah. Um, if we could have, I wish, gotten the legal system, maybe there's a way to get... If the legal system had been involved, it's a much clearer yeah. cut because, path. Right, because the whole point is to make somebody whole again. That's exactly. the whole point of the legal system. And um, well, it's also like a direct punishment. So you go, like, right. you're going to jail, you're here's, paying a fine. Here's your penance. This is the penance. Yeah, and I, and I think that might be the, the biggest flaw of the Me Too movement is just like, okay, I get it. Like, we're not victim blaming. If a girl says it should happen, yeah, yeah okay, it happened. So let's get, what are the next steps? I, let's, see, let's be very clear and specific about punishment. And, and, yeah. and we weren't. And that, that's why I this think, shit is not fucking working now. Now he's back. I think he should, um, you know, you you can't stop someone from doing whatever. I mean, no, he, you know, it <clears throat> seems is there like no legal. It seems like he's. I don't know. It seems like he's going to keep doing spots. I imagine. <laughs> so what I think is crazy, actually, is that so crazy. I do think it's crazy that the clubs, um, let surprise 
drop-ins. Mm. Well, for, and, the, for and, him. and in this case, they somebody yeah. should have been the gatekeeper I, here and been like, I yeah, don't because know. Because here's why guys. it's not cool. It's not cool to have a polarizing person surprise pop in, <laughs> right? Because like then, Cosby. <laughs> yeah, because then you're basically saying that people who are in the audience. Yeah. whose night might be ruined by it. You're like, so? It's like, dude, let them, let the person, cause I'm all for the market dictating what what's okay and not. Yeah, sure. So if you go, Louis on this show tonight, you're allowing audience people to go, okay, I support the yeah. venue right. and the comic. I'm spending my money. Um, go ahead. Right, show let, me, let show the, me what's what. Right. Let the consumer decide whether or not they're because on board. You're Fine. not really letting that happen. And I know some people are like, yeah, but they can get up and leave. It's like, yeah, yeah but, but you fucking no, they don't want to get up and leave. You ruin their night. Yeah. Let them figure out whether or not that's the place they want to be. Yeah. To I watch agree. that. It's so funny because we were talking about this yesterday, even before this happened. So funny. Weren't we just talking about Louie before the story broke like mm-hmm. yesterday at dinner? And, uh, and we were like, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people don't give a shit what yeah. people do in their private lives. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you have, who's that director who lives in France and he was fucking Polanski. Girls? Polanski. Yeah. Hollywood still gives that guy, you know, the, the high five on his work. They made a documentary about how great he was. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago called Wanted and Desired. <laughs> and like, I watched it and everyone in Hollywood, this is before Me Too stuff took off. Yeah. Everyone was like, he's, he's a, great. an amazing man. Yeah. And like he fucked a 13 year old girl in a hot tub. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right. Nobody fucking cares. Yeah. People were like, he won an Oscar. He won an Oscar years yeah. later. A few Oscars. Yeah. Woody Allen's been stooping his uh, stepdaughter for what, 20 years now? Yeah. People now are like, people are like, he's so talented. And now they're like, no, 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 he's no good anymore. <laughs> but it took all the other stuff. Yeah. But no one gave Sunni a shit. Sunni marrying you. his fucking adopted daughter. I mean, look, and, and but the point being that, yes, there's more awareness dra- brought to it, but people still can separate. They still can. from the they art. I mean... And look, he's going to know. have a massive audience still. Yeah, of course. People still want to see him do stand-up. He's, he's so silly to go out this early, though. I just don't think it's it's not... It's clueless. Can I tell you what it is? It, it really shows to me an arrogance and an obliviousness mm-hmm. to the gravity of this movement and the gravity of what he's done. It, to me, reads very callous and like, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And you know what's interesting? His approach to it of like, yeah. I'm just going to show up and do this. Yeah. What, what? And he doesn't bring it up on stage. He's like, yeah. oh, well, is this okay? Very similar to what he was doing to women, right? Like, I'm going to jerk off. I hope this is okay with you guys. Like, yeah. it's the same fucking approach of like, is this okay? Oh, too late. I'm already doing it. Like, there was no, there's no consent in both of those scenarios, right? Him showing up, doing a pop in, and then him taking his dick out and asking you if it's okay. And he's already come you know it would have been amazing like, dude if he did his like pop in 15 minute set <laughs> and then the host comes back out you know to take the money yeah. and just starts <laughs> like hey man good set <laughs> and then louis like oh come on yeah, man yeah and he was like oh no i'm a big fan yeah that would be fantastic everybody does hey standing ovation everybody this guy around of applause. Off. no <laughs> clapping you just hear <laughs> everybody give him a, a round of jerk off uh yeah, he didn't bring it up. He didn't even bring it up, I heard, in the set. I right? don't know. Is that right? I don't know. I heard that he didn't. I heard it was like the usual yeah. stuff, like waitresses, donuts, whatever. Yeah, just the his, subway yeah, is terrible. Yeah. I can't eat pizza on the subway. <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dude, are you not going to fucking address? I mean, what do you, that's the thing. is it's, it's kind of, there is a, I'm fascinated by what the set must be like, what the hour will look like. Yeah. You know? Cause who's buying that one? That is a not Netflix. No, <laughs> he's gonna have to no, go he's somewhere never else. Going on Netflix, but <laughs> he's gonna. I mean, probably the best business solution for him, hundred percent, would be to like do his old model, put it on his site, buy it. Yeah, for five and whoever's on board is on board. Sure, because he'll still sell a ton of them. I mean, I'm saying for him that works, and that leaves it to you're not surprising uh, anybody with it. It's just here's content. <laughs> do you want to pay for it? Yeah. I don't know. It's I do. I want to see too. It's like, do you open talking about it? Yes. I, I would think yes. so. Yes. Get the elephant. Like to not address. But then it. here's the other thing: is like, as a comedian, do you want a somber apology at the beginning of a? Sp- I mean, no. You know, no. it's like. No, but don't you can't go up you there. Can't not address it. Yeah, yeah, you would be like, so anything happened in the news lately? Uh, like something. Yeah. Y- you know what I mean? And then he just starts jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think he should do like that, um, the drop curtain yeah. where they show the silhouette? Yeah. And then he just turns and starts going. 
<laughs> like that. And he's like, what's up, guys? It's me again. <laughs> he's back. He's well, back. there's the trailer. It's yeah. it's a silhouette of him jerking off. And it's like, your favorite jerk off comedian. He's back. He's back. And he's he's like, like, I'm going to uh... come all over this joke. And it's called, Do You Mind? And he's like. <laughs> kind of gesturing like do you mind if i come yeah i have to say i was more partial to his comeback mind if i come (laughs) yeah (laughs) oh i'll make you come i'm sure you will (laughs) four stroke comedian yeah uh i i I have to say that i was more on his side kind of on this thing and now i'm more like oh this guy doesn't get it the fact that he he thinks he's welcome back is like he doesn't get the gravity. He doesn't get. Oh, I'll make you come. There he is. That's that's the opening <laughs> sentence right now. <laughs> I'll make me come. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the next hour. Yeah. I can make me come. I can make me come. <laughs> oh, I'll make you come. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's odd, and I'll tell you, I mean, but the, here's okay. It's odd that he's here's, not addressing. Here's what it. somebody else is thinking because, like I said, I didn't lay out a plan for him, so I yeah, wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like you go, you go, this is, you shouldn't have done your spots now. Okay, when is he supposed to go do spots? A year, at least. But that's a few more months. So what? At least waiting for the holidays for some other creepo to come out. One other big fish, one other big fucking creeper. That yeah. Asia Argento story is pretty great. That kind of, you know what? Maybe that's what did it because that kind of Maybe, delegitimized uh, the movement a bit is having that thing with Asia and she was paying uh, off um, the guy who accused her of sexual he, who assault. Who was a teenager. Who was a teenager, if, for those of you who don't know what happened. And yeah, so Asia Argento was one of, it's like one of the leading people. And Rose McGowan. Right, but I'm saying, so yeah, we're talking they're, about they're Asia. butt buddies, yeah. But Asia's been like one of the faces of this. She was also was dating... Anthony Bourdain, oh, um, so and it turns out that she was accused by a guy who had just turned 17, so a kid who was 16 like the week before. Ugh, uh, just so nasty. She fucked him, and she was like, <laughs> I didn't know he was a teen or something. Ugh. She was 37, he was 17. Bitch, you old. He, uh, you know, came after her. and uh, He came uh, in four strokes the, for sure. The story, at least... You know what is being reported by some people is that she then had Bourdain's lawyers and um, money to pay him off, right? So that Bourdain actually paid. It came out of Bourdain's pocket, three hundred and eighty thousand. So, <clears throat> but who knows? I don't know the. I don't know who knows what the fuck is really happening there. But I do think that that delegitimized the movement. A bit having one of the the well, biggest yeah, people. It's like one of the big people is full of shit. Accusing Weinstein, yeah, right, which started this whole thing. Which, by the way, doesn't mean that Weinstein didn't do that. I'm sure he no, did. But I'm saying it, it definitely it lends itself to delegitimizing a yeah. lot of this movement. So maybe that's why Louis felt a little entitled. You might be right about. I that. don't know. I'm just you know speculating. I don't know, but it, it seems an odd choice. Um, why now? Why not? I, I, if I were him, I would stay underground a little bit longer. Yeah, I think that's just. Me. I think seeing it happen and um, the reaction was not positive, from what I could see, at least yeah. online. Everybody was like pretty heated about it. Um, I mean, from from people in comedy and out, nobody was like, "This Nobody's is great." Rad. <laughs> I mean, it seems it seems really tactless and clueless, and honestly, like Cosby touring right after his accusers, it's it's a little. Well, that was. So Super checked out. So right. yeah. So, but I'm saying yeah. it's it's on yeah. that scale. No, you're right. Like, I, didn't, I didn't think about it. Like, I didn't think dude, about it. Dude, you know what people Cosby are there fucking are like, saying. You uh, <laughs> raped someone while they passed out. He's like, I'll be at the club tonight. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Walking out of court, being like, Hey, oh. hey, hey, yeah. Whatever, what's hey, he doing? hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. And then he did. Crazy fuck. He did after he was convicted. He was like, Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Yeah, <laughs> but but that's what I'm. Is this so that's far? The craziest thing it's, I've ever that's, seen. Okay, so that's like level ten. That's totally level. But 10. Louis being like, it's fine. I can just go out there and tell jokes like I always have, and I'm yeah. not gonna address it. I'm just gonna. Well, that's what nine months ago. Big deal. Like, mm, dude, I don't know. It it definitely reads as like I'm oblivious to the reality of the situation. And you're right. There's no penance. There's no closure for the women. And he did put there's out a press also, release. It was kind of bullshitty. There's also, but here's, I mean, going back and forth on this, they're like, what if you're him? You're like, what is the game plan is supposed to be? <laughs> right. I mean, you know, I'm serious. Like, I mean, right. So it's like I, I I get that we get to say like, nah, dude, this is not the good time, not the good strategy. 
But a lot of people don't know what the strategy is. That's the whole point. You know what the strategy is? I'll tell you what it is. It's what that director did who fucked the 13-year-old. You move to France. That's what he should do? Yeah. You he go, would be accepted in France. Oh, that's, didn't Woody Allen pull that one too? You go to France? Go to Maybe. France. Because they don't give a fuck about kid fuckers and masturbators and, and uh, you know, rapists. They, but you have to come. <laughs> You what? To, this man is a, he's a funny, uh, how do you say, uh, come guy. He makes you come. You come, he comes. Uh, uh, you are a man. A man uh, must say, ejaculate. Uh, uh, je ne sais, il est calm. Well, you joke, you joke and you come. They invented French kissing. Menage yeah. a trois. Coming they don't, in little they don't girls. Care. They don't give a fuck. So you move to France for two years. That's your penance. Okay. You leave the country. You, do, you disappear. You just have to disappear. And that means don't check on media to see what's up with your name. Like, fuck off. Mm -hmm. They'll let the French embrace you. And then once they've embraced you, then you come back. Mm. Do what this fucking the director dude did. Yeah. Yeah, leave the country, bro. Take your fucking family and get out. Why do you want to be here? Would you want to be here while your name is being... Oh, if I had gone through what he went through? Oh, oh my God. I, can, I feel like that has to be psychologically so devastating oh my god I mean, you have to have ptsd yeah if you go from being so celebrated the way he was celebrated yeah to being you know just destroyed i mean and you earned it i'm not saying it's out of no like not because of anything but like that going right. through that that's an interesting point you make too it, it, it's very traumatizing for going because i was just thinking of monica Lewinsky, who was like one of the first people to be really publicly shamed for a sexual yeah thing right but that she wasn't very celebrated before. I'm trying to think of what that you, must be like. And and also oh my don't God. forget that that that's the second part of it. First, don't forget that he wasn't just like thought of as like he's a funny comic or oh, no. he's a guy. He was thought discussed and spoken of like like a, a an artist like mm -hmm. Monet. I mean, people talked about him in an almost unnatural way in the comedy world because he was just iconic. And he was just associated with being brilliant. Oh, he's like the Carlin. He's yes. going to be one of those timeless yes, acts. Yes. So um, it's like if you, if you, you know, if you go from th those types of conversations about you and your name, yeah. every time your name is said, it's like people are like, well, that guy's really something else. I mean, his comedy is, people are talking about your, your jokes as if you're talking about poetry, you know? Oh, yeah. And then to be, just to be torn down, thoroughly torn mm -hmm. down and discredited. Yeah. Oh, a couple other perverts. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis married his 13-year-old cousin. That's true. Uh, Elvis Presley was uh, stooping Priscilla. Was like 15. 15. Yeah. So we have a long, rich history of pedophiles, perverts, and rapists who are beloved. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> by the public. That's true. Beloved. Doesn't fucking matter. Woo! Yeah. yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, Isn't that nice? Yeah. I'm not for a big women, big. I'm not for a big women, big tits. Big. <laughs> uh, good lord, what is happening in this world? I don't know. We man. are in the upside down. This this last couple years has just been bonkers, right? It, it's been nuts. Yeah. It's a great time to be a comedian, though. That's for sure. Fuck, man. Yeah, but uh, it'll fuck. be interesting. It'll be, fuck. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see where this storyline goes. I'm fascinated. And I'm kind of fascinated if he keeps, if this makes him go like, eh, takes a break. No. Or if he, no. Let's put bets on it right now. All right, do you think he's that clueless and oblivious and checked out that he's going to persist? I or think... Or does he have the self-awareness to go, I better take a step back. This is, I, this I think he, he accepted that he was going to take his lumps when it started. <laughs> like, like, he knew when I, whatever the, whatever, whatever time I come back, there's going to be some backlash. So it's like just go with it. So I think he's, he's gonna persevere. I think he's well. I think I think he's gonna go. I knew this part was gonna happen. Just stay in it, so that it kind of you know what I mean. Stay the course. So that the initial yeah blowback is the worst part, and then just you keep he, doing. He's your spot. gonna he's gonna trump his way through it. I think so, and I think yeah. um, it'll be interesting to see how you know reactions go with the clubs because you you need a platform to do stand up. Yes, you do. You need a venue. So. Um, obviously a couple of clubs just let them do those pop-ins. Will the other New York clubs go through or are some of them going to be like, fuck no. It's just interesting to see how it is. And what I brought up the, hmm. um, whether or not you announce or surprise people with it, I think is a big 
big I difference. Say, I say announce, guys. If I think you gonna, should announce. I mean, yeah. give the audience, and I agree with you too. Let let the market dictate. That's what we're all about in this country. Oh yeah. You let the let the market tell you whether or not it's working. Yeah. But man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm. I'd be interested to see it only if he talks about the truth. Yeah. Only if he addresses it. I'm yeah. not interested in hearing about you know. Uh, the stuff he was talking about before. Now, all I want to know about is what's life been like for you the last nine months? It must have been fucking horrendous. And there's a way to make that funny. You talk about the lows of being a pariah. Many people don't get to experience that. That's pretty fucking fascinating, right? Mm-hmm. It's true. No, We'll see. Yeah, who's on board with him? Definitely not Hannah Gatsby. She's got a lot more to say on this. She's got work cut out for She's her. She's got so. another hour right now. Bitch is on writing. She, Frantically was, writing. She just, she <laughs> made that, she did an interview where she said, if Louis comes back, my work is not done. That's what I'm saying. She's, yeah, she's, so. she's, Hannah's at home writing right now. Yep. She got her whole hour just written. All right now. P, uh, she'd be great to be having that seat right now for this uh, discussion. Where does she live? Uh, she, she's English I mean, she's from Australian. 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 Yeah. Ah, we got to get I, her in I here. feel like she was in New York for a while. She might be in New York right now. Wouldn't that be great if they were on the same lineup? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be unbelievable. She's like, ah, like her head just well, explodes. She saw him backstage and he just came out and was like, <laughs> the biggest piece of shit ever is backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be yeah. ear to ear smiles yeah. at that show. Like, Nanette's head explodes. Oh my God. <laughs> She was just like, just straight so up was up. like, this fucking cunt is backstage. <laughs> so mad. Just shit on everybody there. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, the world is changing. And by the way, that is Donald Trump's um, method. Whenever some huge shit breaks, like the Stormy yeah. Daniels and this last one, what's the guy, Cohen? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's just like, I don't give a shit. Fake news, fuckers. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah. like, wow, that was brazen. Like, Yeah, he's got his own system. I don't give a fuck. And then he just attacks whoever. Yeah. Is, he's like, like <laughs> Cohen was his lawyer, his personal lawyer and fixer for years. Yeah. And then he's he tweeted out, if you need a lawyer, I would not hire Michael Cohen. He's terrible. It's like, that was your lawyer. What are you talking about? Yeah. He's just like, he sucks. Yeah. Whenever someone gets turned out of his thing, they're a piece of shit. Like Omarosa, too. Yeah. I don't know who hire that piece of shit. Like, you did. Yeah. You did. Weirdo. Weirdo. Um, Strange. Very fucking crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to see what his next move is. I'm guessing more obliviousness. Yeah. More entitlement. What? Are people um, are mad at me? Uh, moving along, <laughs> you guys ever notice how? <laughs> you know how we talked about Pepperoni? how much we hate people that uh, speak on pe- speakerphone in public. Yes, this guy wrote in, "Hey, Water Champ, I found another level of obnoxious public behavior, and this also makes me crazy." Similar to the talking on speakerphone, this guy in this video attached decided to double park between two spaces ah. with half his car into the lane on, and, and his ah. lights on. Uh, so that he could do his scratch off tickets for 15 <gasps> minutes while he waited for his buddy to run into the store <laughs> instead of, you know, parking like a human being. Um, <clears throat> can't wait to see you in Philly. Bert's new special is good, but he's still fat. Piss on me <laughs> and beat me. I'm a hot white cum. I'm a hot white trash cum dump. What does he say out. after that? True. What was yeah. it? He goes, I'm a hot white, white trash, trash cum dump. Cum. Let's fuck. Let's fuck. Yeah. The end. Yeah. I'm hot. Yeah, new level of asshole here. Double park. <laughs> Two spots with his lights still on <laughs> while uh, waiting for his buddy to go into the grocery store. Uh-uh. And uh, he was just doing scratch offs. <laughs> Mind you, he's like half parked in the spot. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, they're still sitting there. The guy crazy. just got in the car. Uh uh-uh, uh, bro. Yeah, double parked in the grocery store. So no one can pull through and no one can park in either <laughs> one of these spots. No one can really even go in this lane right now because he's still like half out. Uh uh-uh. uh. Total Oh my god. Parking space, so. It's total asshole. This guy gets a bullet. What do you think? Oh, t- two to the head for yeah, sure. Yeah. This um, somebody in front of his his family too. Somebody his dog. emailed this, which is unbelievable. It says, "Hola, mommies, to take the cake during my sister's burial, my grandmother answered her phone <gasps> as my family was standing around the gravesite crying. <laughs> this was, <laughs> as you could imagine, disturbing." But what really upset my family was when she loudly said, yeah, they are putting her in the ground now. <laughs> Love the show. Keep up the great work. Love the sissy of Maryland. 
Oh my that god. That is so fucking funny that and terrible. So, that should be a scene in a movie. Oh my god, answering the phone yeah. at her uh I guess granddaughter's funeral. It's crazy. Being like, "Yeah, they're putting her in the ground right now." <laughs> God. Ah, human beings. Again, oblivious as doomed. shit. Yeah, we're doomed. Ugh. You know, we're uh, we've been talking about it for the listeners. Uh, we're coming up on ten years of uh, marriage. Oh, I thought you meant the show. I was like, really? Yeah. You and I have been married for ten years almost. Mm-hmm. We've been doing the show. It's going to be nine years pretty soon, I think. That's crazy, Tom. Yeah. Um, it's amazing how we've evolved. I know. This show. It started out as farts and mentally ill people. I know. And... Anyways, there's you know <laughs> you're you're always thinking like what can I do to keep this spice alive? What can I do to keep it going? Oh boy. Um, and then you 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 start thinking of, you know, I want to do something special for the ten year anniversary. Okay. Something for you. Something that makes you happy and excited. So, I found, um, what would be like a oh boy. I guess a seminar of types that we could go to, and just. <laughs> See if you like it. You'd have Uh-oh. to check out. I have a feeling. Making sound together <laughs> is one of the natural ways to have intimacy, to oh build boy. community, to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and there's a continuum of it where, you know, there's a really, really casual way, like the most casual way. B and I were just going blah, 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 and, you know, we'll just start playing. Just like vocal. Yeah, I got it. Intimate impact. And all the way up to what Debbie does. Uh, you know, teaching a, a really, teaching a structure yeah. and lots and lots of mm, tools and there's a lot of education to be had. So I totally love vocal improv because you're trusting the moment. It's whatever wants to come out right here oh and right God. now. This is what I was going to take us to. It's really, really believing that what is going to come out is going to be okay. I'm going to file for divorce if you do this. <laughs> Pretty cool. <sighs> you want to go? I'd rather blow my brains. I'd rather watch Lisa K. jerk off all day every day. Crazy crossed up, Christian. It's a cool necklace, huh? You want me to get you yeah. that necklace for? You don't have to remember what's going to happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That's cool. It gives all me right. a different relationship with the future. <laughs> so and does. the present. You know what this really teaches uh, me? I just, the world is fascinating with how many different types of people there are. You mean dumb ones? Yeah, but I also just mean, wow, like, it's good that these people found each other as a group. Yeah, I know. There's you that know? positive spin, and then the no, other one. No, I mean, one... I hate them. I'm yeah, saying that. Yeah, they're terrible. I just can't believe they also exist in the same world I live in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? These are the people that you, you pass in Trader Joe's. Yeah. This guy's at Ralph's right now with his and fucking dumb necklace. There's a way that, you know, there's a chance you could start a small conversation with this guy like hey is this that peanut butter that has the uh yeah natural oils and he's like yeah and then he goes uh have you ever tried a vocal <laughs> improv and you're like what <laughs> he's like you know i have the well, group let me tell but, you about it yeah. oh and no like, oh shit i don't know he's like just give it a shot no and you're no, like i don't please. i don't think that's for me no i think uh <laughs> This is the worst. This is worse scatting? than the guy. This is worse than scatting. Is it worse than the? I was just thinking about that. The hum, hang, uh, the boner. The, now that guy's called? got hand a, boning. A little more skill. A little more. That yeah. guy's got a lot more skill. One who's got the most skill is the stay in the line guy. Stay in the line. <laughs> stay united. Stay united. Stay united. Stay united. Yeah. This is. Do you know what this is? I need attention. I need so much attention. I'm gonna inflict this horse shit onto another group of people it is that who need so much attention you know what else it is i don't have a real skill or talent right for music and but um you'll let me feel like i do in this thing I'm in a, yeah. can you sing oh. no do you, you want to act like you can sing <laughs> Do you know what this remind me of? Uh, you used to have a bit where you talk about how toddlers tell you stories oh yeah this is this is akin yeah. to like, and it's scooby doo wah on the world. Ah! And you're like, yeah. nobody want it. Okay, that was cute. This is horrible. Here's their, you want to see their plug? So, hey 
guys. Hey. You want to sing together sometime? Yeah. We'll <laughs> together sometime real soon. This is kind of how you do it, though. Medicine truck coming to a space near you soon. Near you, near you. Or maybe near later, because we're kind of tired now. But. How can they listen to each other do it? That's the part I don't understand. I don't know. This, how, this reminds me of when you sign up for an improv right. comedy troupe. Yes, 100%. And right, you know, if yes. you're usually the comics, like the stand ups, End up going like, oh, this yeah, shit's not yeah. for me. Tapped out. Yeah, I can't really do this. <laughs> this is real cringy. <laughs> no, I know because I did like a couple yeah. of improv, and I was like, yeah. I, I'm out. This is not for me, bro. This is not funny. Like, this doesn't yeah. feel good. No, it feels wrong. Stupid. I feel like I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they all want in- attention individually. I'm saying, like, how can they have the patience to listen to everyone else's bullshit? I don't know. You have to learn how to listen. You know. Oh, fuck I mean, that. can you really listen or no? You know what? Can I go with that? Can I really listen? Oh, shit, you asshole. What others are bringing. So we're weaving our sounds together in the moment, and it's absolutely just soul satisfying. Oof. Yeah, I have to agree on that. Um, For me, it's embracing that vulnerability. There you go. Um, of not it's like acting class. I don't like that. Saying, okay, I don't like right vulnerability. Now, do this. And then being able to do it with others is definitely a um, coming togetherness of vocal and spirit and mind and body. That yeah. sounds like fun. Like, I, I like that. You like his pitch. Well, I like the idea of all that, but that doesn't feel like that's going to get me there. Do you, do you know what else would make me, make my asshole pucker? What? A drum circle. Oh, yeah. It's like similar. I've seen those live a few times. I've been invited to a few, and I was like, no thanks. I think I know myself. I'm surprised you didn't go. <laughs> it's usually Spanish guys are <gasps> It was a Puerto Rican guy that invited me. How'd you How did know? I, of course I know my people. How'd you know? I know. I know. He, he was, he's married, but he big Puerto Rican oh, guy. And he goes, another fucking married guy for yeah. you. Yeah. And he goes, come over on Sunday. We're doing our drum circle. You're really going to like it. And I, I go, what's a drum circle? I kind of knew of them in San Francisco. Yeah. And he's like, we all we just get high and drunk, whatever, and you just you just bang on the bongo. And I go, I don't play the. When was this? This is a million years. I was twenty four. Oh boy! Now I found out later, surprise, he and his wife were swingers. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so you hey, come over in the that, drum circle. That yeah. Fucking chorizo would have come out at yeah. some point. <laughs> yeah, just come over. You're inviting this. Who's your other old. married spick friend? You have like you're like oh he, uh, he's Spanish and he's married, but I mean I just talked to him on Facebook sometimes. No, I don't talk to him on Facebook. You had this story a few weeks I ago. I said we we all went to college together. So occasion I'm talking once every few years. This guy years. or a different guy? No, this guy's a grown man. This was an adult person when I was yeah. 24. This the other guy, we all went to college together, and I'm saying it. Every one to four years, there's an update about. Oi, como estás? Estás bien? Como está la polla? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> um, more Seagal FGTR TD artwork coming in. This one's by Jake. That's really. What's the carrot about? <laughs> oh, you haven't never seen that? No. Oh, the, he was in like Ukraine or so fucking Belarus or something. And. <laughs> The president handed him a carrot, and he was like, "Thanks." He starts oh. eating the carrot. You never seen that? No, it must have been like a cultural, like in Belarus, it's a symbol of fertility. Yeah, or something, something like that. Yeah. yeah, he just starts eating his carrot. Okay. It's a very popular <laughs> meme. Pretty good stuff there. Oh wait, can um, I can I give you my update? Yeah. On the discussion we had about Forrest Gump and Jenna. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this. This Jenny. was uh... <laughs> Jan Jenna. I really be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, a couple episodes back, we had a discussion on um, whether or not it's ethical uh, to make love to uh, what are they called? Developmentally challenged person. Tom, um, what about them? What are they called? Me- developmentally challenged. I mean, what's yeah. the PC? What are yeah, we yeah, supposed to call them? Yeah. Okay. Developmental- so yeah, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't want to ruffle feathers by not using the right PC term. At the Certainly. Moment. This is not a feather ruffling type of show, so <laughs> I would hope that you would respect the feathers. So uh, it was whether or not it's okay to, if they're really attractive, to have uh, sexual relations with somebody of, d- of diminished mental capacity. And uh, we came to the conclusion that no, it was not, because Forrest Gump actually is a movie. The whole premise is that Jenny has sex with Forrest, and, and and that's really not ethical. It's not cool. And it ended yep. up being one of the most beloved movies. So Steph to Death on Twitter, at Steph to Death writes, 
To add to the Forrest Gump slash Jenny conversation, as much as I love the film, if the gender roles, we don't like talking about gender on this we show. We certainly don't. I uh, resent that. I'm triggered. If the gender roles were reversed and it was a guy coming back and taking advantage of a mentally challenged girl, it would be a much different movie. True that. 100%. It would be a totally <laughs> That's just a porno. I also uh, read one really um, well-written assessment breakdown of the film that yeah, yeah that I don't have with me um, about how she was horribly traumatized, which I didn't remember. Oh, uh, she was abused by, by her, her father. father yeah, yeah. So, okay. um, that makes sense. Yeah, she's basically you know a broken person. Ah, uh, yes, she is, and she was traveling around as a hippie, doing drugs, trying to find her way in the world, mm -hmm. which gives you permission to have sex AIDS. with yeah. Yes, a developmentally disabled person and get AIDS. So it's all excusable, right? It's all nice. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody else wrote in, Mommy Jeans, while talking about Tom's Starbucks experience, only mentioned one LJ, Little Jeans, that she waited <laughs> in the truck with. This begs the question, <laughs> did she actually give birth to a second LJ or did she really just have a huge dump? Oh, you guys think it's a conspiracy that there's no no tiny baby around they here? They want to know. Hey, man, these tits are feeding it. Well, we just didn't take the newborn out that day. Yeah. We left the newborn uh, in, in a crate, right, Tom? Left it in the crate, yep. Some water and some food, and then no, and, the, the, uh, the newborn was at home. Some other FGTRTD submissions. <laughs> Forget girl, troubles rim the dudes. <laughs> Ah. Uh, four GT rally truck drivers. Yeah. Fun gun tricks rallies the Democrats. <laughs> yeah. Finding God's teachings replaces the demons. <laughs> that would be my favorite one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Fighting God's. Finding. Finding God's. Teachings. Teachings. Replaces the demons. <laughs> uh, failing God's teachings replenishes the devil. <laughs> Fabulous golden tweens resist their DNA. <laughs> For good times, remember to dance. Those are all all of these yeah. are. And here's the thing about FGD, FGTRTD, is that it's open to interpretation. And that's really the beautiful thing about it. Yeah. That's really There's the no one definition it. of it. It's just, it's all these things, guys. Okay. FGTRTD. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, got, what else you got? Uh, I'm sorry, I was just that was were all of those. Um, you were just mesmerized by your thoughts. Yeah, I kind of was. Salmon um, with a heart out. Oh, my back hurts. When are you gonna give me a back massage? Hey, yeah. speaking of our tenth band of Smurfony, we do have to celebrate it. Yeah, what do you want to do? Just fart real big. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. What? Oh man. What? I I totally got distracted. This uh, this guy. Um, was in the news. The security guard. Yes. And he got fired. Yes. <laughs> so you get the point. I love it. Yeah. It's he got of fired. Hero. That's He silly. got fired. Why? Um, and I'm trying to see if I can actually get him on the phone. Do you want to see if we can... Um... I would love to speak to him because this man is the people's hero. Yeah, he, he really is. He is doing the Lord's work here for us. He really is. I forgot that I um, said I would... Let me press pause real quick and try press to do pause. this. I'll go okay. peachy while you do that. Okay, I'm just going to do this. And we are back. And uh, the clip you just saw, of course, um, was from the actual footage that was... Uh, recorded by and released by one Paul Flart, the security guard who, in my opinion, was unjustly fired from his job for simply singing a different way. Um, he just, you, 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 you made funny, in my opinion, just short 30 second clips of yourself at work yeah. farting. Um, and did, did it start out of boredom? I mean, is that, you know, were you just like, like when you first started doing it? Um, so first off your video froze for me. So yeah, I, don't know. I, I see that. That's, I'm sorry. That's not, that's not a big deal though. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just started off, uh, just the acoustics in the hospital lobby. 
Um, right. you know, I let one rip one day, you know, mm -hmm. didn't want to hold it in any longer. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the acoustics just, you know, gave it this life, this, you know, yeah. this volume. And so the next time it had happened, um, I sent a video to my group chat and they, they loved it. You know, just some guys from home and another guy lives down here. And, you know, they loved it. So after a couple of times, they were just like, you need to share this to the world. You know, people uh -huh. need to yes. see this. So after some brainstorming and stuff like that, uh -huh. we came up with you know, uh, <laughs> the Paul Flart moniker, you know, uh -huh. which was just fantastic. And I'm a security guard. I got the haircut. I got the mustache, fat, yep. you know, all the, all the key things. And so we just, you know, boom, went with that. I started posting the videos right to the Instagram. Um, it's been about six months. Yeah, so doing that. so you're doing that. Are you doing pretty much videos daily? I'm guessing. I try to do one every day. Um, I really wish that I could fart on command and just you know have that going so do for we. me. Um, and how did yeah. you prepare but, for your daily farts? Did you have a diet? Well, it was just no. I just you know I just you know I'm fat. I eat food. I <laughs> sure. eat a lot of food. <laughs> I love food. Like food is my thing. I love yeah. to cook. I love to go out and eat food. You know yeah. all that. So I would just hope that you know mm. the amalgam of, of crap that I ate would sure. produce you know. You know uh, the fart factory. By the way, uh, I, I, it it was not lost on us that you had a, a wide range of farts. I mean, you yeah. had <laughs> little squeakers and big bulkers, and you had yeah. engine revs, and you had. I mean, <laughs> you really are an artist, a talent, yeah. a fartist, <laughs> a fartist. That, that means a lot. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I mean, we definitely enjoyed it. So you're yeah. doing this for a while. It's it's harmless fun, is what it seems like. So uh. how like. Everything came in the news like a week ago. Is that yeah. when the employers took notice? Like somebody took yeah. notice? So, yeah, so this last... went on for a, like six months without them any anything. <laughs> With nothing. Nobody knew. Nobody saw it, heard it, smelt it, anything. It was just, you know, me doing my thing until until it got picked up by, uh, I think, Barstool Sports on Instagram. And then, you know, last Sunday night and my Instagram just blew up. I went from 500 followers Sunday night to 5,000 uh by like midnight that night. Yeah, you're gonna so have some crazy. more. You're yeah. gonna have some more. Yeah. Coming. Brace yourself. Um, so, so I also watched. We haven't played it on our show yet, but I watched the footage of you getting fired. Yeah, uh, which, which was, was amazing that to yeah. see that take place because that guy. It was funny. Like your superiors, like turn that off. You're like, I'm not filming you. And he's like, and you actually go like, are you firing me? And he's like, yeah. And you're like, okay, then I'll just <laughs> yeah. keep this rolling. Um, Wait, what are you going to do about yeah. it? Yeah. What, are you going to fire me again? <laughs> yeah. um, now, can I ask you, is there a Mrs. Flart in your life? There, there's not a Mrs. Flart, no man. Well, maybe after this airs, you might find your Who knows, yeah. Yo, spirit. So I've been getting hit up by people saying, I don't know why, but this is sexy as hell. And like they try to talk to me on Instagram. <laughs> <Wow>. you know? <laughs> Yeah, that is there something. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So of course, what everybody you know, you know obviously, uh, I I created a petition to have a statue of you <laughs> erected in DC. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping that tonight when I do Conan, uh. they let me talk about it. Uh, we in the pre-interview they said yes, and uh, you can't always dictate how those things go, but hopefully yeah, sure. that will get on the air. Um, but what I guess what everyone also wants to know is like you know. The, the the simple fact of it all is you were a guy with a job who lost his job. What's going to happen now for you? Are you going to pursue um, this lane as this great farter? Like, what are you going to do? Yeah, so um, keeping the content going is number one for me. Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. Just try to keep – people love it. Why not Why not keep giving them what they love, yeah. regardless of anything else, mm. money or whatnot? Yep. That content needs to keep going. Um, I've got the Patreon set up. Which Great. I'm still not 100 percent on how all that works and how to use that accurately and efficiently. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were afraid to use Patreon. A lot of my followers, they never heard of it, never saw it. It was confusing, so they were like, "Put up a GoFundMe, put up a GoFundMe." But uh, I didn't want to beg for money, and I feel like GoFundMe is more of like, a, "Just throw your money at me, you know, whatever happens, happens." Where Patreon's right. like on creation-based stuff. Sure. So I, I set it up. People are donating, um, so that's something. But you know, we're gonna keep Paul Florida on vacation. It's coming up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to you know, throw on a Hawaiian shirt, travel around to well-known wow. places, and just you know, let them rip all over. Oh, that's um, a great idea. Great. And have you thought of a website, yeah. maybe? Uh, oh, yeah. Do you have a website going? I don't have a website. Um, you got to you gotta lock down that URL, dude. Yeah, man. It's probably already locked down. Somebody, the amount, of, like the internet, you know, as you guys know, is a, is a crazy, crazy It is. Place. But you have, have you checked? You got to go check. Yeah, it's um, paulflart.com is definitely taken already. Um I could probably get that from whoever owns it, though. Um, Maybe. Or just take of a variation, you know? Yeah, you know, the Fart Authority or something. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Good. So uh, I'm flying out to L.A. next week to do a TV show. Um, <laughs> can't talk about 
can't talk about not next week thursday actually yeah Man, it's so quick uh, so quick and i can't really talk about what that is yet but you know okay. so things are in motion that's great you know we're trying to get shirts and all merch and stuff like that just out that's well, great. something let me tell you paul we love your accessibility because there is another fart person in uh, the yeah. frequency that we play on the show and he's very uh, reluctant to be in the spotlight yeah if you've never looked up king ass ripper he is I've heard. Yeah. oh yeah he's um he is your brother from another mother man <laughs> and uh very impressive work but he's not uh media savvy he's not accessible yeah he doesn't want to uh, be you're you know? like the people's farter yeah, that's right the people's farter <laughs> for I the like people yeah. he's kind of uh elusive and yeah mysterious uh, yeah just yeah, probably because he didn't want to lose his job, you know. I, don't, <laughs> oh, I, don't know. I would be so surprised if he had a job. This <laughs> guy so. does not yeah. seem employable. No, um, no, but we're big fans, man, and um, you know we wish you nothing but the best. So, um, yeah, yeah. you know, if you get that site going, you tell us about it. We'll plug it. Hopefully, we'll get a lot more signatures on the petition <laughs> to the statue that you deserve. And um, uh, your Patreon, if people want to know, is it just like at Paul Flart slash Patreon? Yeah, every you? everything's yeah. Patreon slash Paul Flart, GoFundMe okay. slash Paul Flart, Facebook, Instagram, all <laughs> slash Paul Flart. Great. I think um, I think our audience is really gonna dig yes. you and what you're doing. <laughs> yes. And um, you know, it was uh, it was a pleasure to talk to you, man. Yeah, man. Anytime. And good okay, good luck. Keep those farts coming. Yeah, and keep yes, us. They will keep us posted on what you end up doing. You know, if, if this travel thing goes or whatever, we we'd be uh, more than happy to to plug it on our show. Excellent, awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right, buddy. Take Bye. care. Yeah, guys. See ya. All right, Later. Bye. Wow, what a real talent. You know, if anything, your mom's house has broken so many talented people. Oh, I know. Rappers, uh, farters. You gluttons. think about, um, you know, uh, crazy lokes. Yeah. Um, then there was the guy that liked smelling farts. We had him on mm -hmm. Machines Within. Uh, Machines Within, great singer, talented rapper. Mm -hmm. Yep. The right, I forgot that guy, cr beef cream farts. That's right. And we started uh, his guppies. his career in porn. We hooked him up. We hooked with, up with with porn people. Yeah. Um, we also, yeah, uh, <laughs> beautiful guppies. Yeah. What they say? Uh, <laughs> try it out guy. The try it out guy became famous on the show. We made, made you into actors. <laughs> you guys doing your own monologues, interpretations of it. We have graced uh, hi mommy. Thanks jeans. It's a many a drive through. And now Paul Flart. And now Paul. Flart. Well, I gotta say, I really like his person. He wasn't yeah. um, above it. He wasn't too cool. He was like, it is what it is. I'm going to keep doing it. I think it's great. And I think he can have a very lucrative social media career. Yeah. I think that this is a lane that a lot of people like and enjoy his talent. And why not? Why not uh, go to his Patreon and help him out? And, you know, why, why not? People do it for just being good looking, right? Like that Cameron yeah. Dallas kid. Dude, I can't tell you how many times I've ended up on an Instagram and you're like, you've, ne you've never heard of the person's name. No. And it's like 5.6 million followers. Yeah. For what? Uh, they're hot. They're in a bikini. They're yeah. in. They're uh, shirtless, flexing. They have great bodies. Like okay, so they have great bodies. Yeah. This guy has a great talent. What about great farters? Yeah. What about him? Why I doesn't know. he deserve? And then see, someone will be like, well, yeah, but I mean that hot chick. You know, she's super hot. I'm like yeah, that's it. But that's, that's her God-given innate talent, and this is this guy's God-given innate talent. Let him talent. run with it. Yeah. What is more American? Yeah. Yeah. Than Paul Flart's quest. I agree. I agree. I agree. It's capitalism at its finest. I think it's great. The market demands him. Well, good for him. You know, getting fired from that job might be the best thing that ever happened to him because now he's going to go into this lane. That's true. Yeah. That's good for him. True. I like how he's like, I'm just fat. And I just eat a lot. That's so great. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, the Make You Come guy has another message. Nope. No thanks. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I hate him so much. Uh. Not Hello out there. No I'm tired today. of white women. They just break my heart. I'm a good man. A couple things that are really going yeah, well in sure. this. Yeah, sure. Let's go. All right, let's start. Uh, the television is yeah. not only on, but it's on full volume <laughs> while you record a video message to post to share with people that you want to listen to you. Um, but Anderson Cooper today, not right. Rachel Maddow. Nah, yeah, it's very interesting. Different that he, choice. He's listening to uh, some very liberal media. Um, took the teeth out. It's also a choice. <laughs> but he shaved. So it's like, what do you like? What do you not like? Uh, framed up real tight. <laughs> <laughs> and starting with, I'm tired of white women. So it's kind of a... Oh. Yeah, it's a kind of a... I'm triggered already. I mean... I'm offended. Let's see what... I gotta uh, write this guy an email. What I'll make it come is gonna say right here. 
Hello out there. I'm tired of white women. They just break my heart. I'm a good man. Work hard. Try to do good by everybody, like the Bible says. Bible says. I don't think these people exist, but maybe I'll get me a morph God. A beautiful woman with a little picker. I don't think they really out, are out there. What? Yeah. A beautiful woman with a, a, little, a pecker. little pecker. Well, a yeah, plot a, thickens. That plot really thickens. <laughs> huh? A beautiful woman hmm. with a little pecker? So maybe I'll get me a morphodite. A beautiful woman. Oh, maybe I'll get me a hermaphrodite. Okay. That's what he said there. See, Is that I, what he wants? So that's why he's saying there's no women left. Maybe I'll get a hermaphrodite. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll get me a morphodite. A morphodite? A beautiful a woman with a little pecker. I don't think they really um, out, are out there. I think he's trying to ease his way into feeling comfortable with a transsexual. Uh, maybe, or he's trying to be funny, and it's just... Maybe. Or he, I still don't understand the choice to not put your teeth in for a video that goes that on the that's internet. That's soliciting love? Yeah. Don't care about race. You know, a guy maybe an Asian woman or a Russian or maybe a black woman, white women, just break your heart. Okay. The skinny ones just lay there during bed when you're making love. Black women, they, they know how to do it. They even oh, yeah. made love to a midget one time and she wore my butt out. So, I'm just out here looking. God bless. Have a good night. Ugh, I still can't get past the, the decision to not put your teeth in. And maybe, I mean, maybe I'm vain. Yeah. But even just leaving, or just around the house, I got to tell you, I can't imagine walking around without teeth. It's a lot. It's a lot. How do you get that way? I don't know. Like, your level of not giving a fuck is pretty high, dude. Yeah. No teeth, bro. No teeth is serious. And then to be like, I'm sick of white women. I want to, I demanding shit. Yeah. Yeah. He nasty as hell. Yeah. It's really something. <sighs> is it true skinny women don't don't do anything, and the black women are like this and all that? I have I don't I don't know. This is not my world. <laughs> this is this man's interesting world. Okay. If anyone has the ideas for our tenth anniversary. Yeah. I even made love to a midget. That was nice. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to call them that anymore. I don't think so. Oh, you were saying that you stay united um, is like your favorite guy. <laughs> he is really talented. This time, he's doing a Michael Jackson song. Oh, cool. You know what song it is? Here we go. In this time and now, in this chase and my delight, in this chase and you will lie. I don't know which one it is to you. Bill Bob and Bibble Mike. In this chairs and by the night. In this chairs and you will like. Do 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 I don't know what song that is, do you? I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, that, I, don't know <laughs> I think those people were amused and terrified at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> people in the car were like, um, because <laughs> he's fully in their car, like yes. leaned in. Yeah. And, and his mouth's all open, <laughs> his four teeth are out, and they're like, um. Stay united, stay united, stay united, stay united, stay united, stay united, stay united. Stay united. Yeah. I don't know what song that. If if you guys know what that was, please let us know. Are Pretty you sure good. it's Michael Jackson? That's what it said. I don't know. I, I don't know, actually. I really don't know. Uh, I don't like them laughing at him. No, I know. It makes me upset because he's my guy. I know, of course. Yeah, don't laugh at my guy like that. Don't like I like get that. that he's funny. It's it is funny. Yeah. I just I feel like I'm protective of him. I'm of protective. course, that's your guy now. Yeah, he's my dude. Um, don't fucking laugh at him, dude. What, what can you do? Holy shit! Let's just make a McNuggets in my hand. I don't want to get it. It's ten thirty a.m. We don't serve chicken McNuggets at this time. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Why not? Because we do. This is fantastic. What? Did you just hiss at me? I'm the one who just fucking hiss at you. Get your stupid ass out of the car. What's going on over there? Don't you fucking run away from me, you bad movie. Man, how are you? God. Oh, shut up. Damn. God. Don't make me into my ultimate form. I will fuck you up. Wait, I'm going to come in and I'm going to wreck you. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. No. 
I'm gonna go amphetamine. Drugs are there. Everyone's on drugs. Gene. Mental. Everybody's on drugs. Everybody's That's my on father drugs. used to say. Everybody's on drugs. Everybody's fucking stupid. That's a good drive-through. Do you know? Did you hear about the? Um, She's gonna turn into her ultimate form. No, <laughs> the lady that was uh, working the drive-through that left her microphone on. No. So when the guy pulls up. He just hears her having a conversation. <laughs> she told me before I even made it to the clock in, Clark, that I'm here for cleaning. I said, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I took my ass right back home. <laughs> no, if I'm going to clean on my day off, I'm going to clean at home. And it was hotter than a motherfucker in here, dude. I'm like, I'm not cleaning in this. She's got me fucked up. I took my ass right back up out of here. I didn't even say nothing to nobody. I just walked out. No, I know. So great. But I do want to, I'll tell you when you come back into work. Let me get this order. about Brittany. Uh-huh. Man, she, she's a joke. Okay, so I loaned her $20, right? That week after she couldn't pay her phone bill. Remember we were discussing that? No, I just let her borrow $20. She had already paid her <laughs> phone bill. Girl, it, I had to ask her twice for it back. <laughs> then finally yesterday, <laughs> finally great. yesterday, gives me ten dollars of it right it's great and then says oh hey i got weed for sale i'll give you a front i'm like bitch you can't afford to get fronts you owe people money <laughs> this is uh, so great i would love to hear this, this I, I know i mean this, this dude had the right idea hell yeah you know i remember when um people started but the cameras came on cell phones yeah. and everybody was panicked like what's the world gonna be like when you can record anything like it got pretty fucking awesome actually it did like the videos like this exist this is the greatest thing yeah ever, to have, i like to, this because this, this guy telling you about this nothing. not the same yeah which was i almost said to her okay give me a 10 bag a week but then i'm like <laughs> no let me just see if she'll actually give me the damn cash you know i don't know she had some slow looking dude in the car with her yesterday <laughs> yeah he don't look like he's all there on the head whoa shit uh I apologize for the wait. How can I help you? Oh uh, yeah, let me get your uh, two for four, one sausage egg McMuffin and <laughs> one bacon egg and cheese McGriddle, please. Yeah. <gasps> she got fired. No, yeah. too bad. Yeah. That sucks. It does suck. It sucks. I would have kept her on. Of course. It would be better than having that lady represent the company. <laughs> Um, earlier I was going to show you this footage of your dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let's see. I haven't talked to him in a while. The best methamphetamine <laughs> producer that they have anywhere in this part of the Bible Belt. Uh-huh. I would have 255-gallon drums, and I would pull a lawn chair in the middle, and I would stack Budweiser this high, and I would have two titty dancers dancing on this table, stripping yeah. and having a good time, and I would start drinking beer. Okay. And drinking. the mixture would be in here ready to go, except for the aluminum, and I would drink the beer and drop one aluminum can in this side and one in this side and continue until the bubble started jumping out of the can and started tearing the skin off of you. Pretty good stuff. How come you don't talk to him? Um, my dad my dad participates in things I don't want him to participate in like this. One day I had this girl bend over the toolbox in the back of a pickup and she was screaming, more baby, more, maybe more. We passed by this buffalo. He had a dong about this long nearly hanging to the ground. I screamed at him and said, hey, how about some help over here? She wants more. She looked over at the buffalo and she said, oh, I'd never leave you if you had that. I said, damn. It's a good story. It's a good story. Mm. <laughs> Do you like him? So wrong. This is what's wrong with our country. This guy? <laughs> I'm going to get my knife and everybody gets within knife distance gets stabbed. Okay. Anybody? Anybody. Stay away from me. I yeah. want to die of old age. At age 89, I'm going to be chased out of the bedroom of an 18-year-old jealous husband, and I'm going to trip over a fence made out of crank into the street and get hit by a Budweiser truck going 80 miles an hour. That's my idea going out. It's pretty creative, actually. It's not bad. He's thought about it. Yeah, I, I never would have thought I don't that. think that was in the moment. I think he's like, this is my real yeah, fantasy. His, his jam. Well, yeah. good for him. Pretty good stuff. Huh. Okay, would you rather French kiss and you got a French? That guy? God damn it. Or the Stay United guy? Oof. 
Yeah. I like Stay United so much more. His mouth probably smells worse than the meth, meth guy? guy. I don't know. Well, because he's out- got mouth rot too. Yeah, but <laughs> Stay United, he's been drinking in the sun all day. Beer, like hot beer breath. I, I don't think meth, the meth master brushes his teeth in prison. No, of course not. But he doesn't drink beer all day in the hot sun. The yeah. beer breath is really what I'm thinking about. Yeah. And the rot. You got to pick one. Stay United, stay United. Stay I think United. I'm still going to stay United. Because meth guy is just, he's na- he's real nasty. <laughs> he's really nasty. And he's violent, you know? Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> like, me- <laughs> the meth master might be like, all right, let's do it. And then he just fucking shanks you. <laughs> Stabbing you. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Somebody said they made um, a Studio G parody or something. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, I guess it's official. I'm taking a shit. <laughs> really wasn't sure about this at the start, but a friend of mine said something to me that made all kinds of sense. She said, think about it as a conversation between the food and your digestive system. I like that. And as I'm finding on my own, it's tearing up the walls between my ass and the sewer, and I really like that. <laughs> It allows us into each other's lives, or in this case, the rest of them. Yeah. When I think about the kind of shits I want to take, I want to take big shits, smooth shits. But most of the shits I'm going to take are just rough shits like this. <laughs> this is just who I am. So if this is like an ass uh, conversation, I say let the ass conversation begin. Wow. Bravo, sir. Good, job. good work. That was really good. Wow. Just a reminder in case anybody <laughs> doesn't. Well, I guess it's official. <laughs> We're now on Facebook. Ugh. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said so something creepy. that just made all kinds of sense. So creepy. She said, think of it more as a conversation. Oh, my okay. God. All right. I can only take He's so much. so damn creepy. You know, we haven't watched that in a while. I know. I forgot how I like that. creepy he is. Let the conversation begin. Yeah. He is so weird. How do you feel about public kinks and stuff? What? Public kinkiness. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> You're talking to the most normal, boring person sexually. Do you feel like um, he's too weird for you, though, Garth? Who? Garth? I think he's got demons that are darker than anything you and I could ever muster or imagine. I think that guy is so fucked up inside. He's got all kinds of shit howling in his... I really like that. Yeah, he's fucked up, man. <laughs> Nobody he's talks like, like that. He's like Cosby fucked up. You think so? Yeah. He's it's, a rapist. When you're super famous, you know, it's. I think it's so unnatural. No, I know. And this good guy persona, that's always the kiss of death, you know? Yeah. It's the preacher that is preaching against gays, and then he's blowing dudes in bathroom stalls. It's like, I'm perfect. Like, no, you're not. It's cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. Ugh. I just don't trust anybody that doesn't have a Makes bad day. Makes me shiver every time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time. Yeah. Cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. Ugh. <laughs> just what made you think to say that? He's trying to be. He's trying to be perfect. He's trying to be awesome. He's trying to not be weird. Yeah. He's goddamn weird inside. He's goddamn. You think this is weird? He a kid, yeah. Bro, what you doing? So he was eating her foot. So for people who can't yeah. see, this guy was at a stoplight and like chowing on his wife's foot. Yeah, or some lady in his car. Uh, oh yeah, some lady. He's like eating it like it's a cheeseburger. Though. Yeah, he's he's chomping on look, that. He's like, rom, 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 and she's rom. on her iPhone, just like anyways. I don't know if she's recording it or actually oh. looking at something. You know? know, she might be trying to tune out what's you, happening to her. I mean, I'm not against it. I'm just saying, like this. Do you need it? Like you need it at the stoplight. Right. Yeah, sure, in daylight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to be like, all right, we got we got eight seconds. Ready? <laughs> and why is he jerking it? Like, he's stroking it like it's a hog. That's yeah, the, I think his method is a little... I'm trying to see if she's on or if I, she's recording it. I don't I think don't she's know. recording it. No, I know. I think she's checking her Facebook. She's like, oh, fuck, <laughs> this fucking Fred in the foot thing again at the stoplight. <laughs> at the stoplight. That's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. She's like, God damn it. All right. There's Just not that much time. Get man. it over. With. And he's two handing it, too. So he's like. Yeah, he's shoving it all the way in there. <laughs> and then look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh, oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> And she's like, bro, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? And look homie? at their reaction. It's she's very, like, they're she's, just like, yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, what you doing, this homie? This is like a work van, right? I'm taking a shit, homie. Is yeah, it? he's like the trash collector. He's like the city. Oh, no, it's like a van. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, what, what you, you doing? doing? Yeah. It's the best when someone calls someone out like that. Are you down with that? At the stoplight? I don't know about the stop. Like, you know, handle your business behind closed doors, y'all. Yeah. It's like when we're talking about people that have to fucking come out to their family about what makes their have dick to hard. Tell them. I'm Polly and I'm by. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey guys, you want to know what makes me come? <laughs> Mom, dad. Mom, God. dad. <laughs> I got to tell you. I got to tell you that. What makes me come? I gotta tell you now. I'm proud to have come out as polyamorous, <laughs> and now I'm excited to share that I'm bisexual. Why do you have to share? Why? I don't know why he has to share it with his family. Like, I'm going to fluid bond with Jesse. You're gonna tell your parents about it? <laughs> yeah, let me ruin Thanksgiving by telling yeah. my parents I'm bisexual. This guy's definitely know. ruining stoplights for some people. <laughs> you know. The problem is, in our culture, there's no fucking sense of shame anymore. You know, there's no sense of public versus private life, man. You know, mm -hmm. people always did this crazy shit. They just knew to keep it behind closed doors, man. It's true. Now everybody's got cameras. They can video you being a fucking jackass. It's true. The shame is back. Oh, that's true. That's a good part. Let's bring shame back. I, I want to bring it back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, what you doing? What you doing, <laughs> bro? What you doing? It's always those. It's always that voice that calls out yeah, somebody. Oh, I like you in their in their car. They're like, roll the window down. <laughs> they they're excited to say it. You know. Hey, homie. So funny. I'm not fucking. Anything else, Gene? It was a real kiss. It was a real kiss. No, I'm good. Yeah. I really feel depraved now. I feel like that was a, an especially depraved episode. This one. Yeah, we covered so much weird shit. There was. I love it. Toothless guy, staying alive guy, a new jam, farter, Paul F Fart. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> this was a an episode for the vault. Like, this is a good one. Yeah, we covered it all, huh. man. Okay. Uh, here's a song to go out on. It's called Tom Upsetting His Mom Remix <laughs> by L. Uh, Smith. Perfect. And, I love it already. Uh, as always, thanks for listening. Oh, quick thing. We restocked. Uh, a bunch of stuff in the store, shirts, socks, hats, including uh, we hear you and we respond to you. The ladies who asked for uh, restocked, I believe it's try it out, female sizes. Just restock those. So if you go to the store, you can see it. It's merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. And uh, that's that. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week. I, I can't believe that you're my son. I really can't. <laughs> You came out of my womb, yeah. and you love two things, caca and blood. <laughs> I know. Uh, I just stopped. I got to do that again. I know. You see that? that has... I, I can't believe that you're my son. I really can't. <laughs> you came out of my womb, yeah. and you love two things, caca and blood. <laughs> I know. I know. You see that? That has nothing to do with him. I know. He's, mom, a, he's a psycho. Mom, mom, this morning. Oh my god. This morning. He's a psycho. You want to hear some? Uh, you want to hear a different story for a change? No, this one. It's a clean one. Or yes, yeah, yes. This one. This better. morning, I realized. Oh. I go. Uh oh. I have to go, Kaka. And I. Oh my god. I asked if it's a clean one, please. I walk into the kitchen. Christina comes out of the bathroom. Oh. She just went, Kaka. And then Ellis walks by me, and he has a caca in his diaper. So we all went caca at the same time. Ah, uh, how about the dogs? Did they put them too? <laughs> they went like 10 it's minutes later. We should make a movie out of this. Make, yeah. make a show. Make, make a, a show. show. Family, family caca. Everyone went caca. Christina went caca. And Ellie went caca. And you know why the dog didn't go caca. So you give him something to go caca. And then, then it's the end of the show. Everybody went caca. And then you talk to me every other. I love it. I, I, I love it. You call your father. Because they say, yes, yes, that's my son. I don't understand why in the world I would do that. It's a son. Nothing. There is not one thing that we're like, no one.